How's it going guys? This is Holly with Grindworks and today we are talking about how automatic knives work. So here I have a Boker Kalashnikov automatic knife which I have partially disassembled already. We've got the pivot screw right here, we've got the push button with its spring here, and these other screws that hold the scales and hold the whole thing together. So I've already removed those. And let's take a look at what's underneath this top scale. So we have the blade there. There's a pin that goes through the pivot hole from the back side and kind of holds it all together. This is a washer. You can see that the push button with its spring went right here. And there's this little notch milled into the blade there. That allows the push button to hold the blade in place. It's a compression lock. So when we take off the blade, Underneath there you can see what's called a coil spring. Now there are a lot of different ways that automatic knives work. This isn't the only way. For instance, Italian knives usually use, I think they're called leaf springs. But I was curious to see how this mechanism in particular works. So we've got our coil spring. We can pull that out there. We can even push the pin all the way through. So you can see how that fits in there. So taking a closer look at the coil spring, this is one of the knives that we have um, just kind of around the department that we can all look at and uh, carry for a little while if we would like. So I can tell that this spring um, is well used and might be due for a replacement, which, good news, we sell replacement springs on the site. So if you've got one of these and you feel like the action just isn't as strong and snappy as you'd like it to be, you can always put a new spring in there. So taking a closer look at the spring, see how there's two kind of little prongs coming off from either end there. This one that comes out more straight is held in place by this little groove right there. The whole thing sits down in this space like that. And then that prong that sticks up, if we remove the washer off the blade here, you can see that there is a tiny little hole right there and that's where that part of the spring goes. So it's amazing to me, it blows my mind that the, th the things that make this knife work are really tiny little pieces. And yet this knife, I pff, it almost never fails. Super reliable. We're gonna start by putting this pin back in and you'll notice that it's straight on one edge. And that's so that this doesn't spin and move around inside the pivot once the knife is all put back together. So we're going to find the straight edge of the hole, which is right there-ish. Stick that through right there. Next, I'm going to get the spring for my push button. Stick it back in there. Here's the button. That's the part that houses the spring. This is the part you push when it's all put together. Put that there. This probably isn't gonna stay because I've got a lot I'm trying to keep in place all at once. So you almost need like four hands to do this. I don't know how they do it in factory. There we go. I had to wiggle it around a little bit, but we've got it all in. Actually, I'm gonna back up for just a second because the thing that I really want you to see is how this actually functions when it's all together. So now that we have the blade engaged with the spring, if the push button was here, when you push it down, it creates a space that allows, that allows the blade to move. So if the blade was all the way contracted, that's put a lot of tension on that coil spring in there. You push that button, it releases the tension and whoop, out it comes. And then this notch here helps lock it in place once it's open. So you have to depress that lock again in order to close the blade afterwards. So I'm gonna try and reassemble this and see if it works or if I broke it. <laughs> Hopefully I didn't break it. <laughs> and you can see that with the button lock in place now, that compression lock, the blade will not go back into the handle. There's a little bit of play in it now, but I think that will be resolved once we get all of the, all of the screws back in. 
And we are very appropriately using Boker's little Torx driver here. You should try not to strip your screws if you can help it. <laughs> That play I was talking about, totally gone. Rock solid. All right, let's see how this does. Oh, there's an issue with the button. What did I do? Yep, I can't depress that. Okay. Let's see if we can troubleshoot that. Looks like I didn't get the button in quite the right place before I screwed it all back together. So it's jammed a little bit. That shouldn't be too difficult to fix though. Okay, I've double checked now that that push button is working and I can depress it before I screw it together. I think I had something just slightly misaligned in there so that it jammed up. So let's try this again. Did it again. What am I doing wrong? Something about when I'm screwing it back together. It gets stuck. Okay, so maybe we don't do the pivot screw just yet. Maybe we focus on the other screws. Okay, button is still working. I think my evil plan is working out. All right, moment of truth. Wish me luck. Woo! I think I fixed it. Oh yeah. Well, there you have it, my friends. That is how an automatic knife works. If you enjoyed this video, make sure you give it a like, throw me a comment down in the bottom, and of course, make sure you subscribe because there are more videos coming. Thanks so much for watching. You guys are the best. Have a good one.